So, got some new goodies to share. I'm going to break this up in uh, two videos to uh, uh, try and keep track of the content a little bit more. This is going to be a really short one. Uh, first off, I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you all very much for your comments and uh, messages and uh, sharing your content. I, uh, I really enjoy it. I, I've met some really great people on YouTube and I like to consider them friends. Um, yeah, I thanks is all I can say. Uh, without your, I would truly pay for YouTube when the time comes because uh, I get so much good content from it and learn so much. So I just try and give back a little bit. But anyway, got an envelope uh, within it. This is my another envelope, and within it is my up converter from Noelac. This is for the software defined radio. This is an up converter. Uh, originally they were 100 megahertz. I did slice this bag but I haven't had it out yet. Originally they were 100 megahertz and now they've changed this. What they come with is now a 125 megahertz oscillator. So that gets rid of the problems with the FM broadcast band. So with this I can take my software defined radio USB dongles and uh, get short wave. Um, get right down in the uh, in the frequency, so uh, I'm tickled to have this. They're about uh, I think forty one dollars right now, and then a little bit of shipping. Uh, Nolak really really responsive, got it in no time. I uh, see it has the SMA style adapters on it, and uh, also they changed the USB power style over to uh, from a micro to more like what a printer would have. So. Um, I like that. I think that's a great idea because that's a pretty robust connector. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, a bypass switch. So once I put this in line, uh, you can just leave it in line. You don't have to take it out of circuit when you want to uh, when you want to go back to normal tuning. So yeah, uh, pretty basic. I uh, have to get a get it in a box and shielded. Uh, I have the 3D printer for that. My plan is to just 3D print a project box of the appropriate size and. Uh, line it with, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to line it with either, uh, I don't know, I, I have lots of aluminum tape, so I could, I'm just not sure, it doesn't, uh, if you layer it, it's actually not conducting to itself, so uh, it'd be hard to get all of them contacting each other, so I'm going to just line it with uh, basically tin foil, and then insert this uh, on some standoff pegs, and uh, but I'll run it on the desk wide open for the meantime. Anyway, so it's pretty basic. You just take the oscillator and stick it on the board, and uh, that's it. The, the, it's ready to go. The remaining items that I got my little Christmas in June, or I guess it's not even June yet, it's still May, um, is the uh, antenna adapters. And I'm going to do that as a little separate video. Hopefully it helps someone out with uh, what they can... Uh, get for these uh, USB devices for proper antenna hookups and uh, minimal amount. Uh, I'll cover that in the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching.